For this course, you must install both Python and Jupyter on your computer. If you have them, you can still complete this lecture, because we will say a few interesting things about Jupyter. So, why isn't there just one software application called Python you can install on your computer that is automatically being updated and that runs everything smoothly? I am sorry to tell you, but it's not the case. We have to deal with reality. First, Python is a programming language. It can allow you to communicate with the computer. To do that, you'll need the help of a specific software or an application. Namely, the Jupyter Notebook app, which is more often called Jupyter, can help us to do that. It is a server client application that allows you to edit your code through a web browser. In our case, we will focus on Python and a web browser as a client or as an interactive shell. Your work will be stored on a notebook document and since we will strictly be using the Python language, it will be called IPython notebook file with the file format .ipynb. Having said all that, we can explain why Jupyter is used in so many large corporations like Google, Microsoft, and IBM. For its design, it is well suited for demonstrations of programming concepts and training. First, in large corporations, solving a particular task could require coding in a few languages, say Python, R, Julia, or PHP. Instead of installing different interfaces for each language kernel you need, Jupyter allows you to use the same structure of the notebook type of file. Simply, each notebook you create will connect to the language kernel you request. Consider also, this file can be easily stored locally or on a remote server. Therefore, Jupyter facilitates the communication between teams in a corporation tremendously. Second, Jupyter is not a text editor that opens a new window every time you execute a different part of your code, as is the case with some other software applications. In the same file, you can have pure text that can communicate a message to the reader, computer code like Python, and output containing rich text like equations, figures, graphs, pictures, and others. This simplifies the process of the workflow immensely, and Jupyter Notebook is increasingly preferred over other software packages. That's why we'll use it too. The next step would be to install Anaconda, a software package that contains both the Python programming language and the Jupyter Notebook app. Thank you for watching.